All right, let's look at Ant-Man Movie Physics Fails. Here's our main character, Scott, checking so out the suit weird. for the first time. Theory with this suit is when you activate it, it shrinks the distance between the molecules and the atoms in the body of the person wearing the suit as well as the suit. Shrink down those distances, make the object smaller, but the mass or the weight of the individual should really not change because you're just shrinking the space. So if Scott is about 160, 170 pounds and he pushes the button, he should still be 160 or 170 pounds even when he's small which means a 160 pound object, really small, small surface area should be dropping dense object, very small surface area. You would be falling way faster than this. So this doesn't make sense. The world sure seems different from down here, doesn't it, Scott? Okay, so now Scott's talking, his vocal cords would be so small that we would not be able to hear the frequencies produced. And in his helmet, there are earphones and the creator of the suit is talking to him once again Speaker so small, never hear the sound. Wouldn't hear his voice. Sorry. It's a trial by fire, Scott. Or in this Can't case, hear the sounds coming out of the headphones water. either. Great scene, really cool CGI. For some reason, the water slow mo, but Scott is not. But we'll let that one go. Alrighty, bang, crack. He just popped the tile in the bathroom. Yes, you're tougher than you thought. That makes me think that he is still 170 pounds and his small surface area with that huge mass cracked the tile. Okay, let's fall again. Bounce off a couple of rusty pipes, nothing seems to happen. Punch a hole through a plaster ceiling, but drop on a record player and everything is A-OK. -okay. I'm not sure if the mass is smaller or larger. It's not really making sense. Fall again. So now getting sucked up by a vacuum. That kind of makes me think that you don't have 170 pounds of weight. Yet you can punch a hole through the side of the bag. Okay. And apparently a mouse, when you are shrunk down, has a very low pitch growl. Okay, spring of the mouse trap. He must be light because he just got flung out the window. Yet, he just dented the roof of this guy's car. And it pushed it down a little bit more. So I'm not sure whether or not he is in fact the same weight. He's not the same weight. His weight changes depending on the scene. It seems a little bit odd.